In this video, we'll walk you through how to start auto trading your strategy in multi charts step by step. First, open a chart for the symbol you want to trade. We'll use an E mini futures contract as an example. Make sure you select a specific front month contract, not a continuous contract like at, at ES. If you want to trade a continuous symbol, it needs to be properly mapped. We'll link guides below. Go to the settings tab to configure your preferred resolution, data range, and other chart parameters. For our setup, a one minute resolution with just a couple of days of data will be sufficient. Next, apply your strategy, either one you've created or one from the built-in library. Right-click the chart, choose Insert Study, go to the Signals tab, and select the strategy you want. We'll use our go-to, Custom Strategy LE and LX. Here, we'll click the gear icon to enable intrabar order generation. This allows orders to be submitted within the bar rather than only at the bar close. You can leave this option disabled if you prefer the script to be calculated once per bar at the close. And here are our backtesting results, calculations based on historical data. If you don't see any, first double check the strategy performance report. If you see trades there as we do, try scrolling the chart to locate the order marks. If all entries in the report show NA, it means no orders were generated. Let's make sure your strategy is properly calculated. There's a setting called Max Bars Back, which determines how many bars your strategy needs before it can produce its first results. If this value exceeds the number of bars available on your chart, the strategy will not be calculated. For example, we have 2,377 bars here. Go to Format, Strategy Properties. Currently, our max bars back setting is fine, but if you set it higher than the number of bars available, the status line will just show calculating indefinitely. So ensure your max bars back is sufficient for your code, but does not exceed the number of bars. If it does, either lower the value or increase your data range. If max bars back is set correctly, but no orders appear, check your trade size in the strategy properties or directly in your script to ensure it's adequate. Still stuck? To be totally sure the issue is not with the setup or multi-charts, try using the built-in custom strategy LE and LX. If those work, but your custom script doesn't, the problem is likely in your code. For debugging tips, check out our using print trace guide linked below. Now that our strategy is set, let's select a trading account for it. Go to Format, Strategy Properties, Auto Trading tab, and scroll down to the Select Broker Plugin section. Pick your broker from the drop down list. We'll use built in Paper Trader here, which is good to go as long as it's set to the same data source as used on the chart, but some brokers may require additional setup. So make sure to click the gear icon to double check that an account is selected. For brokers like Rhythmic, CQG, Saxo, TradeStation, Trading Technologies, you'll need to look up and select the correct account. For interactive brokers with sub-accounts, specify the preferred one in the default account field.
We'll now return to our paper trader, which is connected to TradeStation. That's it for the basic setup. Ready to go live? Click the SA button on your chart or go to Format Automate Order Execution. When the SA button turns green, you're officially trading live with automation. You'll notice that backtesting results are cleared from the chart. This is expected. In synchronous mode, trades are displayed on the chart only after the broker executes the orders. Backtesting results remain visible if you use asynchronous mode, AA, but be aware that switching to this mode will cause discrepancies between the chart and broker, such as the chart position getting out of sync with the broker's position. We'll stay synchronized using SA mode. To see your orders and positions on the chart, make sure to select your broker profile and account in the chart trading panel. Once selected, you can keep the panel open or close it as you prefer. For more detailed information, open the order and position tracker. Here you can view your accounts, monitor positions, track orders, and review messages from your broker under the Logs tab. For example, if any orders are rejected, you'll find the rejection reasons there. Not seeing any orders on the Orders tab? Most likely, the issue lies within your script's order generation conditions. Try running a built-in strategy with PaperTrader like we demonstrated here. If the built-in strategy works but your custom script doesn't, use prints as described in the linked guide to debug your code or contact your study developer. And that's it. You are now auto-trading in multicharts. For more, visit our help center and watch our other videos. Thanks for watching and happy trading.